And to do that, we start above the ankle, about five centimeters, where we first of all identify a big tendon on the posterior side of the tibia, which is the tibias posterior. We follow that down, straight down, and we follow the tendon down until you see a concave groove uh, where this tendon finds its place. That's his landmark. And once you find that as your landmark, you stop there and then you angle the posterior side of your probe a little bit towards the heel. And if you do that correctly and slowly, you should be able to identify all the structures we're going to cover now. The first is the tibialis posterior that we already saw. Next to it is a very small rounded uh, tendon that is the flexor digitorum, longus. If you then further go posteriorly, you see the arteries and veins, and you can let them compress the veins. There you go, I'm pushing it down with a tibial nerve underneath it, and underneath that is the flexor hallucis longus. So within one picture, you get all these structures, and once you have them, you can trace them up and down, distally and proximal. So we refer to that as Tom, Dick and Harry, so tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, and then the arteries and the veins, the nerve, and then the flexor hallucis longus. And that's how you do it. So once you can see a tendon that you are interested in and you have got your landmark, you can spin on it, you can go distal and proximal, um, and you can be confident that you're on the right spot.